This is Lima Bravo 4 Foxtrot Hotel, ready to do my first radar challenge, Rapid Deployment Amateur Radio. Uh, my trip here today will be in Stanglandsmarka, which is close to my QTH, uh, standing right here now. Path will be to go down here, rig up about this place, this place, this place, this place, and hopefully get to Solfjell. So it's going to be a very nice trip, about uh, two hours to walk each way. The area around here has lots of uh, trails set up for walking and hiking. And uh, the round trip to my final location is uh, 5.4 kilometers. Uh, it starts out through this uh, wooded area. Very beautiful, lots of birds singing. I just saw two deer while parking. And uh, then I'm going to carry up into some uh, marshlands, which is also going to be very nice, hopefully. This region has been farmed for a few hundred or thousands years and uh, here you can see an old shepherd's fence where they used to collect the sheep after they were grazing out in the wilderness for, um, for the summer and they were collected in uh, rock fences like this before they were sent off or kept indoors for the rest of the winter. This is uh, Karen's Rock, which is named after a woman named Karen, which uh, got lost in the wilderness here sometime in the 1800s. And she uh, was, had to hide under here because the weather turned really, really bad. So she hid under this rock for a night, and now the rock is named after her. So. If she had just brought her ham radio, there shouldn't be a problem. People would have found her. I just arrived at what will be my first location for the radar challenge. Walked about 980 meters, so it'll say roughly one kilometer. The forest opened up a lot here, so there's no problem to get an antenna up. Uh, earlier it was very dense and would be impossible to get my antenna up. A little walkthrough of my rig and equipment. Got my Siegu X108 Golf transceiver, a small LiPo battery pack, which is a car booster pack. Uh, it also has a 5 volt output and you can charge it via um, micro USB, so it's very handy when traveling. The antenna is a SOTA Beams linked dipole antenna, which is uh, slightly modified. Uh, I got two legs uh, here that I will uh, String out to either side, which gives me coverage on 20, 30, 40 and 80 meters. And I got my uh, now 8 meters high SOTA beams uh, uh, telescopic pole, which weighs about 1.5 kilograms. So um, hopefully this will work uh, very fine. Locator here is uh, Juliet Oscar 29 Papa Golf 54 Juliet Charlie. Uh, within 100 meters or so. So it's going to be very interesting to see what I'm doing. Uh, first uh, QSOs will be on uh, 80 meters. The terrain here changes a lot. This part is mostly marshlands and uh, it's quite wet today. But it's a very nice area to be walking this part of the year because there's no mosquitoes. I'm just rigging up at the second QTH now, Judith Oscar 29, Papa Golf 55 Delta Charlie, uh, which is uh, on the edge of the forest and the marshlands here. So uh, I'm going to have a bit of a uh, rest from the wind and from the rain in the trees. And then uh, I'm going to push on to the summit after that, I believe. I'm going to skip one stop on the way there and do the last two kilometers in one go. I just finished operating here on location 2, I got my 5 QSOs. Um, the challenge here is that people don't know what the radar challenge is, so it's not very easy to get the grid locator from them. Most of them are most uh, here, over here in Europe are interested in flora fauna or summits on the air, so they're used to just uh, delivering those references and not uh, doing the um, 
grid locator. So hopefully I got the correct locators from the people I talked to. Some of them I know from before, they operate from their home QTHs, uh, sadly. And uh, yeah, haven't heard any more radar challenge uh, people on the air so far. Uh, going to move on to the next location now. I'm getting close to location 3 at the moment. The trail in this part of the forest is a bit more uneven. Lots of slippery rocks and uh, tree stumps, but it's a very nice location to be walking. Just finished my activation here on the radar challenge on Solofjell, which is the highest point on uh, Karmøy Island. Uh, I uh, did four locations. The previous one I did not film because the conditions there were horrible, so I managed to get one QSO on 20 meters and uh, that's it. On uh, the summit here I uh, chose just to do a VHF activation, so I got three local QSOs on uh, 2 meters and uh, that was uh, what I had time for. But uh, from those I managed to get 10 digit um, uh, locators from uh, two of them and uh, 6 stitches from the last one, so that was quite interesting. WX here, up here is windy. Uh, it's, uh, raining a bit and uh, with some parts of uh, the rain coming down as sleet or ice. So it's not very warm but still a very nice place to be. The view here is uh, very nice. It's the first time I'm up here on this mountain. Behind me here you can see some warm mountains, some Sota summits and uh, lots of the surrounding area. I can go down uh, there. Uh, got about two hours walk back to the car from here so well theoretically I can do another period with uh, the challenge but uh, with the conditions today I don't think yeah, that's going to be uh, any point at all. 7 is here from Lima Bravo 4 Foxwood Hotel.